We're live. Hey, hey. Put the avocado toast down. All right. We got people e eating avocado toast right before we're about to do this. What? Uh, hey, welcome back. Saturday Charity Boot Camp. So, real quick, let's turn this down a little bit just, just in case. Facebook be kicking us out because of the music. All right. So, today, I uh, just want to start off by first of all saying, hey, appreciate you coming out doing this workout with us. Uh, today what we're doing is a little, something a little different. It cl hits closer to home, and it's for Connor Dasa Holland, uh, so, uh, just a senseless violence that happened not long ago, um, and I wanted to support the family. Uh, so there's a GoFundMe account link that you guys will see up there uh, on his 18th birthday, got gunned down not far from here for Mother's Day. And like I said, this one hits close to home, and uh, like I said, because it's part of the, the Vigor family, and so I ask you for, you know, donations and support mean a world to us. We'd really, really appreciate it. And that's what we are doing it for today. Uh, with that said, we got another spicy, spicy workout for you guys that Jess and Cam are going to crush. They're doing a little thing on the side, getting zen ready. Um, if you have them, so like we'll make modifications as we always do, guys. But we do have a couple of kettlebell drills. So if you got kettlebells or a dumbbell, dumbbell will work for those two exercises. Uh, then we have one band drill that will also work with dumbbells, right? So we'll show you some modifications for it. But uh, we got intervals, and they are going to be spicy. So check this out. Whenever you two want to jump in, because we're going to start, going to start doing uh, dynamic warm-ups. All right. So we'll do a little, we're going to do a lot more lower body, I would say, uh, warm-ups and mobility today. We are going to do just a little bit of upper body, just to get, give some love to the neck, the shoulders, that, the shoulder blades. All right, so we're going to start off with neck circles, long fingers, right, chest nice and tall, abs engaged, tuck the chin, go to the shoulder, to the ceiling. If you got a tight spot, spend a little bit more time there, slowly come through, other side, and back. All right, if you don't have tightness, Go through that range. If you got tightness, slow it down. Get that full range. Don't try to skip it. And some days you're going to be tighter than others. If you had a long week, stressful, carry the tension up in the neck and the shoulders. And just keep drawing a bigger circle. Now we're going to do a couple more. Remember, keep the elbows locked out. And the fingers long, so we get that tissue on stretch. All right, we're gonna do just one more for the neck, and it's getting the ear to the shoulder. So same thing, long, kind of long arms, pinky down to the floor. We're gonna tilt over, so we're trying to get that tension, that line of tension here in the trap. And the thing is, when you're here, you can turn your neck a little bit to find where you get the most tension. Right, and then other side. And really try not to use body language, right? So we're just going neck to shoulder. Don't bring the shoulder up. Breathing. And once you're in that position, you can tilt the neck a little bit. Find that line of tension. Reach even more with the hand, and you'll get a bigger, bigger, bigger stretch on that trap. Just slowly, like I said, try to get a little bit more range of motion. Usually you'll find for me, like it's this side, a lot tighter, so spending a little bit more time on that side than I am on, on this one. And do one more on each side. All right, shake it off slowly. We're gonna do our thoracic rotation, so remember, as I rotate, make sure your hips are locked in. So these two bones, they're not going to twist with you, right? They're going to keep facing forward. So thumbs going to the chest. I'm going to rotate and actually push this hip forward a little bit. So everything's coming from my upper back. And other side. So you almost want to counter a little bit, almost.
Cam had like 17 avocado toast before we started. <laughs> this, is good, this is a really good idea, I think. <laughs> All right, shake it off. All right, guys, we're going to go to the ground. So like I said, we're going to do this sequence. It's going to feel really good on the spine. But we're going we're to combo it. So watch me go through one set of this real quick, okay? So I'm, I'm here in this position. I'm going to drive my hips up, get a big stretch, roll forward. Now the thing is we're going to go a little faster today. When I roll forward, I go past my wrists, so I stretch my forearms as well. Then I'm going to come back into that same position. And then from there, I'm going forward to Spider-Man lunge and then drive the elbow back. Okay, so it's, I'm elbowing back right behind me, right? I could point behind me, so I'm getting that thoracic extension. Back again and other side. Okay, so that's the sequence. So after we do one per side, guess what we do there? We're back to this one. Drive butt up, heels into the ground, roll forward, exhale. Right? So we're going to do a long set on this, like over two minutes just between that sequence so that we can really get a good amount of reps in. Okay? So we got our downward dog, spinal roll, hips up. When you do that spinal roll, like I said, get, get in front of your wrist so you get that stretch in the forearm right here. So punch him back this way, Jess. So elbow's going to go that, that way. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Let's see you hear that long week. Ooh. So every, every set, every round, every rep you guys go through, like I said, get some more tension out, get a little bit more range of motion. Like I said, the wrists are actually, usually, usually we spend a little bit more time and get some love to the wrists, uh, but this is a way where you can combo it. And when you lean forward over it, you're gonna get a big stretch in the forearm. Push your wrists into the ground at that point in time and get a little bit of extra stretch. All right, almost, almost doing like the uh, pills and rails in there. So rolling forward, chest up, hips to the ground. We're gonna do one more, one more minute of this. Make sure you're breathing, guys, right? So as you're going through this, not holding your breath, breathing. Elbows punching back, not up. There we go. Spend as much time, like, so if you need a little more time in that top position, getting your hamstring stretched out, cool. If you need a little more time in that position, Stretching out your abs, your wrists, do that, right? Your call. Like if something feels a little bit more wacky and wound up, spend more time there. Breathe there, get that stretch. There we go. We're going to go 20 more seconds. So get one more run through if you can on this. Shoulders forward? Shoulders down. Back. Yep, there you go. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're going to combo this second one, too, and open up that front line. So we're going to go into our shin box position. From the shin box position, we're going to drive up. So what's important here is that this is not a momentum, right? You're not using your momentum to drive up, but rather you're staying tall, pushing the backs of the knees, and slowly coming up into this tie sit. Then we're going to go tripod, so hand goes back, and we're reaching, right? So we're going to open up this whole front side. As we reach, I'm actually going to push my shoelaces into the ground here in the back and hold that position, right? So you're going to see quad, oblique, abs, everything's, you're going to reach with that top arm. Everything's getting nice and long. Hold for three to five seconds. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to switch my hips. Other side, do the same thing. Drive up. Turn shoelace and reach. Whew. So in this tripod position. Like I said, don't just get there. Make sure that when you're there, imagine you're trying to reach somebody's hand for five seconds, really lengthening everything out. All right, let's get it ready. I think we're going to do this for about a minute 15. Ready? Let's go.
There we go, hand goes back, and then reaching over. Yep. So with Jess, this, right here, try to reach back, 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 back. Yep, there you go. So this is a great one where we can work hips, but then we're also opening up this whole front line, right? And when you're in that, that position, try to make, like, make sure that when you're in a position, you're breathing, right? You're not <laughs> passing out. But own that position. Whenever I say own a position, it means to own a position, you should be able to breathe as normal as possible there. Also, if you hold tension and hold your breath, you're going you're gonna to keep that tension, right? We want to let the tension go. Guys, real quick, as always, in the last weeks, if you're here live, put hashtag live. If you're going to do a replay, put hashtag replay, just so we know. Let's go. We've got another 15 seconds. We'll try to get one more round of this one in. Doing a bunch of like bang for your buck combo movements today. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're going to stand up. It's going to be our last one before we kind of start moving a little bit more. We're going to do a side lunge, but with the overhead reach, okay, so that we get their shoulders involved. So I'm going to step to the side, and as I step to the side, I'm bringing my, my I'm reaching and going into a Y position. So it's not straight overhead, it's a Y position. So butt goes back, arms drive up. I'm feeling a big stretch here in my adductor, and I come back up. And then I'm going to go other side. Step. Right, so big stretch, driving thumbs up in the air, elbows long, and back up. Okay, and we're just going to keep alternating. And like I said, hold that position for like a couple of seconds there. All right, ready? Let's go. Go a little bit more to a wide Jess. Yep, there you go. Nice. Nice, Cam. There we go. We're just going to hit this one for 40 seconds. So try to keep getting deeper into that range of motion. Limber. Right word there, limber. So guys, make sure when you're doing this one, like really try to lock the elbows out and do that by reaching, right? If you reach, they'll get locked out. And then we're working the shoulder the way that we want to. Okay? Or you can do YMCA. I have to. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, this next one, we're going to start cranking it up a little bit, but we're also going to uh, put some stability in. So just like that drill we were doing last time where we're starting in this position with the high knee, then I'm going to say punch, and the lady's going to go one, two, and then hold. You guys are going to do the same thing. All right, punch, pause, right? If you lose your balance a little bit and you got to reset, that's okay. But we're trying to drive this knee past 90 degrees, right? Don't let it be below 90 degrees. You want to be past 90 degrees, so I'm here, right? And when you hear that command, it's one, two, and then pause, right? And keep driving. So we're going to do about five to six one side, switch it up, go on the other side, okay? Get it ready. Go right knee up, drive it. Good. Hold that balance. Feel that whole foot on the floor. Ready? Go. Pause. Nice. That. Go. <laughs> Go. Nice. Punch, punch. Go. Nice. Right, so we're going to do two more. Hold that position. Hold that position. Go. Nice. Last one. Go. There we go. And switch sides. Good job. Other side, get it ready. Go. There we go. <laughs> Butt cheeks. Go. Oh. There we go. Go. Nice. We're going to do two more on that side. Go. Last one. Go. And break. I think we got some booty cheek cramping going on in here. All right. Last thing we're going to do, we're just going to go in and out. So pretty much feet together, dropping down into wide out drops. We're going to hit those for 20 seconds. 
just go at your own pace, ladies. Let's get, let's get this core temperature slowly up. It's been a long week. You guys, same thing. So remember, feet are close together, nice and tall. Drop them apart, hips drop in between the knees, right? But it's touch and go. Very, very dance clubbish. You know what I mean? For you? Yeah. That's a legit move you do, though. It is. I do do that move, by the way. They know. They know. They know. I get the eagle on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Try to get a little more range. Remember, think about there's a wall in front of you, so you don't want to lean too far forward. I'm going to stay upright. Last seven seconds. I mean, this is the warm-up. This shit's about to get, woo! <laughs> and break. All right. All right, let's talk business now while they're, while they're resting. Okay, today, tough one today. So long sets. We got 60 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Ten different exercises, right? And it switches up quite a bit. So what we're doing on the first drill, pay attention because it's a combo movement. You two pay attention as well, please. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> so we're starting in a, in a static lunge, right? So you're going to start at the top. Oh, sorry. You're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to do a static lunge. So lunge up, lunge down. But then we're going to jump laterally. Boom. Lunge up, lunge down. <sighs> lunge up, lunge down, right? So we're, we're adding. The thing is how far out you jump, right, it's completely up to you meaning the intensity level of it that you want to do, right? But here we're able to create, like I said, skater jump, get the glutes involved, multi-directional work. You pick your tempo, right? Because you can push the crap out of this tempo and it becomes really, really challenging, obviously, right? So that's exercise number one, static lunge into skater hop. Think like you're jumping over that hole. Number two, we're going to do a push-up, but it's going to be a dead stop push-up with a T, meaning Regardless if you want to go knees or here, we're going to come down, out into a T, thumbs up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, bring it back in, push up. Okay, now, what's really important, shoulders and hips move together, that you don't do this. Right now I'm rolling up. So my abs are engaged, control down, squeeze. Okay, or if you're on your knees, here, right, so just as much ab work, we want to move like a plank, same thing, whole minute, so you control your tempo, number three is the kettlebell clean and squat, so we did this a couple weeks ago, where you're in a hinge position, deadlift, okay, and from there, you're cleaning and then squatting, you can do the same thing with a dumbbell, okay, boom, back down, touch, and go. Now, if you don't have a bell, okay, if you don't have a bell, you're going to do a burpee, but not, not a burpee like just bending over and making it look like, like crap. This is the way that if we are going to do burpee, we do it. You squat down, okay, you squat down, hands hit the ground, step out, jump in, and then jump up. Okay, notice, so my back is always flat and neutral. So I'm here, Boom, right? Jump. Whew. Notice the form, right? So always much cleaner and you're not rounding over and having sloppy reps. Okay, so that's if you only can do body weight, you don't have a uh, bell or dumbbell. Number four is a hollow hold, but it's a hollow hold rock, okay? Now you can keep just the hollow hold position or when I'm here, hollow hold rock is I'm creating tension here and then just a minor rock, right? But I'm not losing, I'm not losing my core, okay? So you're connected and you're just getting a minor rock and it makes it more challenging because it's dynamic. So you can do the rock or you can do it without that. From there we have active tabletop, okay? So active tabletop, I'm going to start in this position. I'm going to make sure my shoulders are squeezed together. And then from here, I'm going to drive up tabletop, come back down. Watch when I come back down. I'm on my heels, my butt's off the ground. This is abs. Squeeze, come back down. Okay, and you drive as much as you can, and if you can completely lock out, great. If not, go as far as you can. Right, so you're going to get some stretch up in the upper body. 
core work, glutes, hammies, okay? From there, we have bent over rows with the band. So you're gonna step on the band, double loop it, grab to where you have tension. So if you need to grab a little further down, chest tall, squeezing those shoulder blades, elbows into the pocket, okay? Once again, a minute adds up a lot. So find that tempo where you can work with it consistently. Okay, from there we have lateral steps. Now, the ladies are gonna be doing them with bands. You don't, even, you don't need a band, okay? But they're slow, meaning. So if you have no band, you're gonna go butt back, okay? Notice how far my butt is back, right? I wanna get that stretch, and then I'm staying low, stepping low, right? So if you have no band, notice how low I'm stepping, right? Constantly, one, two, keep that distance. I'm never coming up, and that's a burner. For them, they're gonna be doing it with the, obviously with the loop, slow and controlled, more glute work. Okay, so either or, a lot of work. After the lateral steps, we have crawls, like slow-mo crawls. Not fast ones, we're in a crawl position. Imagine there's a cup of water on my low back, I'm trying to make sure it doesn't fall, right? I'm very stable, and I'm going four steps forward, four steps back, okay? Very controlled, all right? From there, we have kettlebell swings. So once again, and you guys know swings, you can do either kettlebell swing, you can do kettlebell deadlift, or if you have no bell, you're just going hinge jump, right? That same position and just jumping. And last but not least, you're gonna use your couch. They're gonna use their pads. We're doing hip thrusts. If you want to, you can go band around the knees. All right, we're going double legged, so just driving up, squeeze, moving from the sternum, right? So my sternum is my hinge point, squeeze as hard as I can, okay? You wanna make it harder, add the band. So we're gonna do a round, take a break, and then do another round, right? It's a pretty challenging one, so get your mind right, because we're gonna get started in, let's see, in 40 seconds, that's when we're gonna get started. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit. There you go, Jess. <laughs> this, this, is that, this is the part where you're still like, yeah! And then like about six minutes in, you're kicking shit. <laughs> All right. Let's get it ready, my friends. Let's get it ready. This is about to get spicy. I will. Cam's going to get coached. All right, guys. Actually, we're going to go, we're going to go on, a, on a top in a minute, so we're going to start in 30 seconds. So remember, static lunge with that skater jump first. Don't bump into each other there. All right, so you, you start from the bottom, right? Because we're going to go up, down, boom, explode out to the side. Oh, yeah, this one's fun. So you control how fast you want to do that. But get those wide jumps, though. 15 seconds, guys. Let's get it ready. Yep. Yep. Get set. Five, four, three. Two, one, let's go. Static lunge, down. So on the down part, you're, when you're exploding out. So you do your static lunge, come down, explode out. Yes, there we go. And stabilize. Down, explode. Boom, there we go. Up, down, explode. Nice. That's it, stabilize, go. Reset. There you go. Nice, if you guys are doing this drill for the first time, it's a little learning curve, but either way, you're working. There we go. Nice. And jump over that hole. That's what your thought process is. Jump over the hole. Don't fall in. That's easy to think about. Just nearly fell in. Dead. Dunsky. There we go. Try to stabilize and go straight into that static lunge. Boom. Go. And punch. Nice. Nice, Cam. Drum down. Explode. Good. Let's go. Get into that nice position. Five. Four, three, two, one, and break. 15 seconds. We're going push up with the T thumbs up, right? So when we go T thumbs up, we're squeezing our shoulder blades together, right? Really important. Keep a, get a dead stop. You control. If you want to take it a little longer, pause at the bottom. Your call. Three, two, one. Let's go. Thumbs up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. On the back down. Drive up. Good. Yep. Keep that core engaged. There we go, nice Cam. Good to connect those hips and shoulders. All right, and you'll see, watch that roll, Jess, so when you come in, 
Abs on. There we go. Yep. You'll see when that low back doesn't move. Core is connected. Good job, Cam. There we go. Remember. Halfway. We got 30 seconds left, guys. Way to work. You control your tempo. Right? You can go super fast. You can hold that T for a little bit longer. Nice. Go going out in the T. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice. Last 15 seconds. Let's go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. 15 seconds. Let's go. Get in there. We got kettlebell clean to squat. I mean, Jesse's got quad fire on push ups. This is going to be, whew, this is going to be interesting. Get it ready. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, smooth tempo, right? So you don't have to crush and kill. Remember, these are long sets. Breathe through it, focus on the form. Form's most important. Intensity comes after that. There we go. Nice job, Cam. There you go. That's a good tempo. Nice chest. There we go. Feel that whole foot. When you guys are doing a squat, remember, pull yourself down. Don't just drop down. You're catching the bell. You're pulling yourself down, pushing yourself away from the world, right? We want to make sure that the muscles work more than the joints are getting banged up. Nice. Feel every part of your foot. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Almost there, guys. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Breather, we got hollow hold or hollow hold rock. Okay? So remember, the rocking is not aggressive, it's subtle, but it makes a difference. Three, Two, one, and let's go. There we go. Keep that core engaged. Keep that core engaged. There we go. Nice, Cam. Great job. There we go. You can see they're, they're connected. So if I push this down, you should be connected. Nice, Jess. There we go. This is really hard. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go. Yep. Think reaching. You can keep this hand position, or you can do a. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. Almost there. Last 15. Let's go. I love it. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Let's go. Come on. Five, four, three. Two, one, and break. Nice. Active tabletop. Oh. So remember, active tabletop, we're on our heels here. Chest is nice and tall, squeezing the shoulder blades. And then we drive that tabletop position, control back down. Same thing. Three, two, one, let's go. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't want to do it. Drive as much as you can. There we go. And now control down. Nice, Cam. There we go. But too big, I can't just like hover <laughs> <laughs> Good problem to have. Nice. And that's the tempo right there. It doesn't have to be crazy fast, rushed. Good. There we go. Hold the position. A couple of seconds. Come back down. Hold the position. A couple of seconds. <laughs> A lot of these, you'll be, at the beginning, you're like, ah, it's not too bad. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, shit. Let's go. Drive those hips through. Drive those hips through. Let's go. Nice. Feel that whole palm. Long, long, long line. Neck to, to knee. Let's go last 10 seconds. Coming up right here. Five, four, three. Two, one, and break. Nice. Let's go. Jumping up. We got bent over rows. Same thing. Find a rhythm on a 60 second. If you start going this fast, you're going to burn out. Find a tempo where there's constant tension. Get it ready. Three, two, one. No. 
Let's go. Grab it a little bit lower if you need to to get a little more attention. Your call. Let's go. Slow it down a little bit, Jess. There we go. Yep, that's it. Let's find a cadence to it. There you go, Cam. Good. And let it reach and rope. If you need to stay a little bit higher, stay a little bit higher. And push the feet into the ground, Cam. That's going to activate posterior chain a little bit more. Take the back out of it. 15 seconds. Good. You go squeeze at the top. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two. Let's go finish strong. One, and break. Shake it off. 15 seconds. Next one, we got lateral, lateral walk. So if you either got the band, if you don't, remember, if you don't have the band at home, you're staying butt back, staying low the whole time. Do not come up. Take a longer step without the band. Get it ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. I feel like we're about to hear some noises coming out here. Oh, no. My clients are going to know. No, 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 no. <laughs> How many? One minute. No, but three steps. Oh, I however went. many you want. Oh. However many you want. <laughs> Do what you want. Do what you want, this girl. Do what you want. <laughs> you guys want to grab this <laughs> Nice. Just stay consistent with it. Keep that tension. Keep pushing the hips back. The burn is real right now. We're halfway. If you want to do dance moves, you go right on ahead. I know. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Last 15 seconds. Let's go. Stay with it. Guys, if you're, if, like I said, if you're doing it laterally without the band, stay low. Don't come out. Take longer steps. Take longer steps on this. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Good work. Let's go. Crawl position. Remember, crawl position, we're doing slow. It's like weird underwear. Slow more. Four forward, four back. It's not classy. <laughs> Get it ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. You can regress to being down on, on the knees as well. But you're slow mowing it, right? You're trying to keep that cup of water on your low back. What's giving out, Jess? Quads, shoulders, um, everything, life. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's me like feeling like the water's going to come out my mouth. Mm. <laughs> Let's go past halfway. If you have to rest, you can rest in that crawl position. Just be static in it. Hold it like a core drill. <laughs> Let's go. Just keep that position. Nice, Cam. Good. Let's go. Long spine, long spine, long spine. Let's go, last 10 seconds. We're about halfway, another good time to drop it. We got 175 viewers. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Standing up, shaking it off. Let's go, last two drills before we got a break. Kettlebell swings, and then hip thrusts. Same, <laughs> same thing, find that rhythm, guys. Let's go, five seconds, we're ready to go. Get a nice cadence. Three, two, one, let's go. A minute, 60 seconds. There you go, find your rhythm. Slow it down if you need to. Breathe. There we go. Feel that whole foot. Remember guys, it doesn't have to be all out. Like I said, these are minute long sets. You should be able to breathe through this. Let's go, we're halfway. Good, shake it off real quick, Jess. Get it back. Yep, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Good, get nice and tall, snap. 20 seconds, guys. Remember, if you don't have a bell, you're doing hinge jumps. Pack that chin, chest tall, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Last 10 seconds, guys, let's go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Last thing in the first round, in the first round, that is hip thrust. Right? So they're putting bands on. If you have it, great. Put it on. If not, that's okay too. Here you are going to go a little bit faster pace though. Three, two, 
One, and let's go. We're burning out. We got a break after this. Let's go. Remember, you're, you're go hinging from that sternum position. Drive up a little bit more, Cam. There we go. Good, good, good. Sternum. There you go. Good. Nice. The burn is real on this one. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Halfway. 30 seconds left, guys. Try to keep a tempo. Like I said, this is more mentally challenging because the burn is not going to do, do you no harm. There we go. Driving, driving, driving. Come on. Almost there. We got the last 15 seconds. Let's get it. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. And breather. Nice. All right, guys. <laughs> Listen, we got a two to three minute break, guys. Get a quick sip of water. Hydrate. Do whatever you got to do. Kick some furniture because you're pissed off. All that good stuff. We're coming back. We got one more round of that. All right, one more round of that. Get mentally prepped. I'm going to get. And you already know, guys, let us know if you're live, hashtag live. If you're not, hashtag replay. I'm going to get my bang. Get my bang on. At this point in time, these guys really need to sponsor us, though, for real. I think I've, I think I've drank like 1.2 million of these suckers. <laughs> Hey guys, in round two, like, look, you're going to be fatigued. Really, really pay attention to form, right? Really focus. Like I said, long sets, focus even more on form, right? The more fatigued you get, we got to make sure that the form is good. Meaning if you got to slow down tempos, if you got to hold a position for a little bit longer, take a little more rest break, that's fine. Like work, like give me your best effort, try your hardest, but focus on form, right? Very, very important. We got one more minute, guys, and we're going to start round two. Right, one more minute we start round two. Because all that stuff bundles up and then in round two, it's gonna get spicy. Okay? I like sweat drop right here and then go like this. You gotta lick it off like you gotta eat it. Mm. My tongue isn't that long. <laughs> right, this round, you guys have a little more kind of uh, know what the rhythm is gonna be. So set into it. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. Let's get it ready. Let's get it ready. Really? That was, that was the hardest one? Okay. Also, it was at the end, so once you guys already did a lot of stuff, then that's why, of course. That's the one. Usually you start with swings, so it's weird doing it at the end. This is so entertaining to watch. I bet you there's so many people. Just Ten like, seconds. Honestly, I don't, how many of you are actually working out? Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, that's the magic question. It said, how many of you are actually working out right now? Be, be honest with us. Be honest with us. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, guys. We got one more round. Go take that long jump. Nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice, Cam. There we go. Control and explode. Great job. Passed halfway right now, guys. Great job. There we go. Yep. Find that rhythm. Pause. Down. Jump. Let's go. Last 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Good. Try to get a couple more good reps. Less than 10 seconds left, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Push up T. Remember, especially in this second round, make sure that you're not rolling out of it. Brace your core. As you push away, so hips and shoulders move together. I'm not bracing hard enough, I'm feeling in my quads. No, you're probably feeling your quads because you brace everything. Which is okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Nice. Nice, Cam. Way to stay connected. When you go to that T, thumbs up, squeeze the shoulder blades. 
1,001, maybe even two seconds, and then back up. Nice. Push that ground away. Push it away far. So you want to reach at the top. There we go. Good. Let's go. I crashed Bruce for my burpee. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you know not to do that again. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Let's go popping up. Let's go. Let's go. We got kettlebell clean the squat. Same thing. Remember, fighting the cadence. 60 seconds. Try to get about 15 reps in this if you can. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Pull yourself down. There we go. Right? That's a big difference when you pull yourself down into that position versus just drop down into that position. Nice job, ladies. Way to go. There we go. Nice, Cam. Slow that down just a little bit. Oh. Let's go. Pull. There we go. Great job. Way to pull yourself down on that. Nice control. Past halfway right now, guys. No. There we go. Last 15 seconds. Great job, guys. Great job. Let's go. Way to focus on form and not break down. So we got less than 10 seconds. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, and break. Here we, here we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hollow hold rocks, guys. Hollow hold rocks. We're the entertainment. Hey, he's got you. Get it ready, get it ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. I would say I would say rock less because you get a little bit of a break there, so come back down and get a little bit less of it. So you're yep, exactly. Back. Yep, exactly. That's it. Right there. Push that low back into the ground. Get a get less of a rock on it. Like I said, guys, if you have a if you have trouble with it, just go into the hollow hold position. Lock in the hollow hold position. There you go. Reach, reach, reach. Good, the more you reach, bring these down just a little bit. We got 20 seconds left. Let's go arms up and reach out. Imagine like this way. There we go. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Give me that champion pose. Less than, less than 15 left, guys. Let's go, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Let's go, popping up, let's go. Active tabletop. I'm going to pop up on your butt. No, we're not. <laughs> get it ready. Get it ready. The hue is blue for me right now. <laughs> Three, two, one. And let's go. Good. Staying on the heels on that. Right? Especially when you, when you bring that butt down. Yep. There you go. Good. So you pull. Kind of want this, like, swing. Pull with your heels. Good. Nice and smooth tempo. There we go. Nice, Jess. Nice, Cam. Let's go long spine. Think long spine. Drive, 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 drive. Stay long. There we go. Halfway through it, guys. Try to maintain the whole set without breaking if you can't. Rip those shoulders apart at the top. Right, so don't let them collapse. Rip them apart. Last 15 seconds coming up. Nice. Let's go drive. Good. Pause the top for a little bit, Kim. Good. Control down. Nice. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Popping up, bent, bent over band rows. Same thing, like find that cadence. All right, if it takes you three seconds to do one up and down, you're going to get 20 in a minute. Get it ready. Four, three, two, one. And let's go. Good. Slow it down a little bit, Jess. Stay a little bit more upright if that helps you out. Good. Yeah, I was going to say, keep that rib cage down too. So bring it down even more. And then long, 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 long neck. Good position. There we go. Good. And then just hold that. Yep. That's better. 
Halfway, guys. Let's go. You can even go just hold position too, Cam. Do an ISO. And then find, find where it feels better. Yep, you can flip it. Go ahead. 15 seconds. Let's go. Finishing strong, guys. Last 10. If you're at home, let's go. Finish strong, burner. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Let's go. 100 per minute? 100 per minute. Do you want sexy face? There you go. I think sexy face is the workout. I agree. The whole thing. Get it ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Hips go back. Hips go back. Whether you want to keep a higher hinge or a lower hinge, make sure you push your butt back on this. If you don't have the band and you're at home, you're taking longer steps. So your steps are going to be much longer controlled, staying low if you don't have the band. Let's go. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Come on. Let's go. It's just a burn. It's just a burn. 30 seconds left. Go butt back, butt back, butt back. Keep that tempo. Almost there. Last 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Keep that tension. Keep the tension steady. Keep the tension steady. Let's go. Finishing strong. Last five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. Last three drills, guys. Stay focused. Stay focused. Crawl position. I would dare you to keep that band I on for the crawl. I'm actually keeping it on. Woo! I'm telling you. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, guys, if, if you feel like form is breaking down, hold that static position. There you go. So I think long spine. Like, imagine the neck is getting. Yep, there you go. That's it. And now push the ground away actively with your upper body. Nice, Cam. Now just hold that. There you go. And then just break and then come back to that static position. Yep. There we go. Nice. Yeah, but that's a great position though. And breathe, 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 breathe. Good. 30 seconds left. Let's go. You got to just keep resetting. Great job. Great job. Nice, Jess. There you go. You want to make that more spicy? Push those knees out. Let's go. Almost there, ladies. Last 15 seconds. Let's go. Stay focused. Stay focused. You're doing great. Long spine. Nice. Finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Good job. Way to hold that position. <laughs> the last two. We got kettlebell swings, hip thrusts. Let's go. Get it ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. There you go. Just find a rhythm. There you go. Just go forehead height. Look forward when you come up. There we go. Nice. Keeping that spine. Let's go. Shake it off real quick. You got it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice. Feel that whole foot on swings. Don't roll back onto the heel. 30 seconds. We're halfway through. Let's go. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Find that rhythm. Let's go. Let's go, Jess. Come on. Finish it strong. Last 15 seconds. Let's go. Huh. 10 seconds. Let's go. Keep that chest a little bit higher, Cam. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Nice. Last one. I, I saw that. <laughs> Let's go. Last one. Doing great, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm trying. It's hard to get this thing on. Three, two. One. Let's go. Don't worry. I'll give you a couple extra seconds. You don't have to worry about it. Remember sternum. Yep. That's where you're hinging from. Go. A little bit more from the sternum. Drive up. There we go. Good. Just sternum drive. There we go, Cam. Good. Nice. In the present, girlfriend. <laughs> 
Let's go long spine at the top, but make sure you're coming from that sternum. Let's work, let's work, let's work, let's work, let's work. 30 more seconds, let's go. Finish strong, last thing. Nice. You find your tempo. Last quarter, guys, 15 seconds, let's go. If you want to just hold that static at the top, you can do that and rip it apart. Let's go, let's go. Finish strong, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice. All right, quick breather, guys. We do have a finisher, it's all abs. Hopefully that makes you feel better, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's gonna be a tough one. Um, I get a quick sip of water, while I get a quick sip of caffeine. And yes, I do drink it with a straw. Don't ask why. Stole it for me. Stole it I'm, for so, me. I'm sophisticated like that. Mm. Straws all day. Straws all night. Thanks, Bob. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, listen up. And like I said, why, why are you listening? You guys are breathing, taking a break, chilling. So our finisher is going to be three core exercises, but they move really quick, one, through, like one to another. It's only 15 seconds, but we're going to go through it a number of times, right? So we're going to go RKC plank for the first 15 seconds. So RKC plank is when we have a little bit of a longer lever. So instead of the elbows being completely right underneath us, we end up bringing the elbows out a little bit. And then we're driving those elbows down. So essentially the movement that I'm doing is trying to drive those elbows and rip that floor down to my, my foot. What that does is creates tons more tension here. And it's actually very difficult to hold if you're doing it right for long periods of time. So I'm gonna squeeze my butt. And I, so I'm trying to drive that elbow down like this into the ground, right? So it's creating core tension. So only 15 seconds. At 15 seconds, I'm gonna say roll. So then you're gonna just roll into your hollow hold, right? So we got 15 seconds of hollow hold now, okay? Those are up, we go to V-sits, bam. Straight to V-sits, 15 seconds is up, we roll back around into RKC plank, right? So it's, the transitions are just like go, 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 okay? So we go through it three times, right? So it's three times 45 seconds. Because there's movement variability, like, you'll be able to do it, but the abs are going to burn like, like crazy, okay? So, just know. All right. Is it 15 seconds each? You said 45 seconds. Each. Yes, 15 seconds each, but th going three times through is 45, and we do three Sorry, times I through that. You, play, you were playing the prank. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, it's just me saying a lot of shit to confuse <laughs> everybody. Okay, but the key, the key is, guys, that like you really transition quick, right? When I say move, oh, no boom, way. you're turning into it. No so we'll, we'll start in 30 seconds. So remember, RKC plank, hollow hold, V-sits. Three of each, nonstop. Really, like, challenge yourself, challenge yourself to hold these positions without breaking. Okay? 15 seconds. All right, let's get it ready. Let's get it ready. Remember, you make, your, you make your planks as hard as you can by creating more tension. Get set. Get set. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Good. Drive those elbows down. Squeeze your glutes. Hips, shoulders together. There we go. When I say roll, literally go roll into the hollow hold. Not yet. Four, three, two, one. Roll. Let's go. Yep. Let's go hold that position, push that low back into the ground, point your toes. I'm gonna move this for Jess so she doesn't hit herself. Okay. I got you. Ah! And V-sits, go! Ah! Let's go. Nice. Just find the tempo, there we go. And let's go, roll, mark your seat plank, go! This is round two now. Good. Think long. Oh. There we go. You got it. Let's go. The burn is real. And get ready. Roll, hollow. A 
you have to regress, do whatever you got to do. Let's go. The burn's real. Get set. And V-sits. Go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Cam. Stick with this V-sits. Come on. Come on. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. We got one more round after this. Let's go. And roll. RKC plank. Come on. Stick with it. Let's go, let's go, stay focused, come on. Just think about the thing right in front of you, not everything else. Get ready, and roll, hollow hold, let's go, we're almost there. It's the last time through. Nice, keep pushing that low back into the ground, come on, come on. Zone in, zone in, zone in, three, two, one, and V-sits, go. Last 15 seconds, come on. Finish strong, finish strong, let's go. Dig, 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 dig. There we go. Three, two, one, and break. Good job. Good shit, lady. Is that it? Way to work. <laughs> oh, that's it? That's it. The, sar the, sar the sarcasm is real. We can do finisher number two if you want to. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Hey, guys. Way to work, man. That was a challenging workout. Like, full body, every muscle being worked, 60 seconds, every set. Like, you did a great job. With that said, hey, to come back to the beginning, okay, if you worked out with us anywhere in the world, I know that there's a lot of, I think last, last week we counted 23, 24 different countries. Uh, so thank you. Really appreciate you guys joining us from wherever you're joining us. Uh, but as always, if you can, like we really appreciate it. Like I said, this has been our theme and our motto for over 11 years now. On Saturdays, we usually do a minimum $10 donation. Uh, if you could, for this incredible cause, like I said, that hits close to home for us, for, for Connor, that's a Holland, to the family and the senseless violence uh, that happened and like really support, like I said, the family in this time of need, I'd really, really appreciate it. Go up to that GoFundMe link, uh, donate whatever you can. We'd appreciate it, the family appreciate it. Uh, with that said, hey, listen, guys, uh, I'm not going to make any announcements yet before we don't know, but I am hoping that we are pretty close to um, opening the physical facility, the location. But we'll still be doing these um, most likely, I don't know, maybe for good, maybe forever, maybe forever. So, but we're back here for sure next Saturday. We're back here for sure the Saturday after that. Uh, so make sure you join us. Like I said, spicy workouts. The ladies are going to be bringing their best. Always give a shout out to these awesome ladies that, that always come and work and, uh, and, like I said, and suffer with you guys. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. See you next Saturday. Peace out. <laughs> that's, that's the zoom out right there. <laughs>